In this video, we're going to take a look at the creation of chamfers on a 3D part in AutoCAD. While I do have the traditional chamfer command available in the modify panel, I'm going to use the specific one for 3D. I'm going to switch to the solid tab. Then in the solid editing panel, I will click the drop down under fillet edge and choose chamfer edge. To begin with, I will set my distances. I can see I currently have distances of one. I'm going to go with a half inch. So I'm gonna switch this to distance and then I'll just go with 0.5 and enter and 0.5 again and enter. Then I can go ahead and pick on an edge. You can see that it previews for me and I'll go ahead and press enter twice to accept it. So that's a big difference between the regular chamfer command. You have to hit enter twice to accept it. You can also do chamfers with multiple distances. So I'll choose my chamfer tool. This time I'm going to pick the edge first and then I'm going to specify my distances. Part of the reason I'm doing it this way is I'm not really sure which direction distance one is going to be. So I'll go ahead and put in my value of one for my first distance and hit enter. And I can see that it took distance one off of that direction. So if that's not what I was wanting, then I can escape and restart it here. And then for my distance one, maybe I'll put in 0.5 for this one and then one for the second one. And then again, I can press enter twice to accept it. Unlike the 2D version of the command though, you are not given the angle option, just the two distance options here. To recap, the 3D chamfer, pretty similar to the 2D chamfer, you wanna set your distances. However, we cannot do the angle option and then simply specify which edges you want to chamfer. That concludes this look at 3D chamfers in AutoCAD.